Hello and welcome to another Facebook Live. We are celebrating our art event here at Hobbycraft and this week it's Pebio week. Um, so we're talking about all things Pebio and we are joined by the fantastic Jenny Moncaster. So Jenny's an artist who works with Pebio. You might have seen Jenny on um, her, t uh, her Amazon Prime television show which is called, why has it gone from my head, Jenny? It's The it's Artist, the artist in, in You. you. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. I had one thing to remember and I forgot it. So welcome. I'm so excited that you're here and you're going to show us some fluid acrylic pouring techniques. Yes, it is very exciting and it's mm -hmm. very on trend at the moment. It, it is. is. It's amazing. Huge. And I hope that I'm going to demystify how yes. to go about doing it. Yeah, because it looks... It can look quite complicated and it looks like you need quite a lot of paint for it, but that's not always the case, is it? No, so so the main sort of thing is in the mix. So it's all mm -hmm. in the kind of getting your ingredients and getting yeah. the recipe right, which a lot of artists kind of keep close to themselves. You know, they mm -hmm. don't kind of share. So there's a huge amount of, uh, of videos out there yeah. on, on YouTube and social media. Mm -hmm. uh, the artists don't often so kind of show you exactly what the mix is and how yeah. to do it. So that's what I'm going to show you. And I'm going to run through some techniques as well. And I've amazing. been demoing it with Pebio using all their amazing paints and products yeah. across the country this year. And mm. people are loving it because Fantastic. it's completely mesmerising. It really, and, really um, is. The amount of time I've spent just watching YouTube videos and looking at all the amazing colours kind of merging into each other. It's fab. So I'm super excited about getting it started. And um, before we start... Um, we have to tell you that Pebio acrylic paint is actually half price at Hobbycraft, which is fantastic. So you can rush down and get your supplies. Brilliant. And yeah. um, we will post this um, video on our YouTube channel later so you can come back to it or you can watch it again on um, our Facebook. So you, it doesn't matter if you miss it this time, we've got loads of great content and we've even got a get started in flu fluid pouring, sorry, um, page on our website with loads of great video content from Jenny. So don't worry if you miss it in this live. You can find it in so many different places and we'll make sure that we share that link at the bottom of this um, live broadcast as well. Over to you, Jenny. Yes, yes. So how do we go about acrylic pouring? Well, as I said, I mean, I call it my mad form of art. Mesmerising, addictive and de-stressing. I love that. So we That's can fantastic. take a deep breath because... <laughs> Honestly, there's something so compelling about watching mm. colour and effect and it just yeah. kind of does its own thing. And I, and I think what's so lovely about it is that you can be a complete beginner mm -hmm. and produce the most amazing yeah. things as well as, you know, the more experienced artists among us as well. So it really is a great leveller, yeah. incredibly accessible. Fantastic. So, I'm going to kind of talk through what we need yeah, to get started. Please do. I'm going to be, I'm not being rude, I'm just looking for your comments. So if you've got any questions for Jenny while we're going through the process, do comment and then I can ask Jenny. Okay, so I'm not being rude. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go through the recipe first of all. With I mean, I've got all these lovely pots of paint here, which I've pre-mixed beforehand. And it is really, really, really simple. So the basic recipe for all my pots of colour is just one part acrylic paint there mixed with one part water mixed with one part pouring medium so that is mm. all there is to it very very occasionally you'll get different uh, acrylics that are heavier or sort of runnier okay. so thicker or um, or runnier so if you find that the paints that you're using are slightly runnier then just add a little bit less water so maybe start off okay. with a little bit less and then go to that one 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 mix and it is really that simple so I've mixed up all my paints and I'm just going to show you this here so the consistency I kind of like to say is a bit like warm honey dripping off a stick or mm. kind of single cream yeah delicious yeah, maybe a little bit thin. <laughs> cheap yogurt oh, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> but there we go and you will get used to that mix now I'm also going to add one little secret ingredient to this and that mm. is our silicon oil and that's really going to help increase the effect of cells and we talk about the look of these cells in acrylic yeah. pouring so what's interesting when you get kind of used to the mix you'll see wonderful effects happening even if you don't use this so oh, the different densities of the paint will affect each other mm -hmm. and create some wonderful um, effect but to increase those cells a couple of drops of silicon oil to my cups of color is really going to help now i've added a couple of drops to all my colors and all i've got to do is just add a couple mm -hmm. to the white here and what's great about these little pots 
of silicon oil from Pebia is they come with a pipette, oh, a little perfect. dropper. So you can be really exacting. One, two, do you know what? Oh, that's a big cup. Oh, and you don't one, need three. Hardly, you don't need much. hardly anything. Oh, and really that's going to last forever, isn't it? Wow. So give it a really gentle mix. Now, don't be tempted like me. And when I was first doing this, thinking, oh, I love all the cells and I'm going to add more silicon yeah. and create more cells. But in fact, it has the complete opposite effect. Oh, it actually right. impedes the effect of the oh, cell. So, okay. so don't be tempted. So you to have add to more. be sparing with it. Yeah, which is quite good, isn't yeah. it? So there we go. I've got all my colours mixed up. And the other thing, of course, it's a little bit messy. I can tell from apron. <laughs> it's a messy business, so I need something to catch all the drips on. So I've got a uh, baking rack here with a cooling, well, baking tray with a cooling rack just mm -hmm. to lift my artwork above because all the drips get a little bit sticky oh, yeah. on yeah. your surface. But you could use you could use drawing pins on the bottom of a oh, canvas or board just to, just to slightly lift, lift it, it up. Yeah, and in fact. From here, mm. these are really oh, those handy. are great. You can get those just anywhere. So just an aluminium tray that you mm. can wash out and use again. So Fantastic. that's um, really, really easy. So what do we pour on? Mm. <laughs> we've already got a question Have about the paint. Okay. Okay. It, people are so excited about this. So um, we've got Becky asking, once it's mixed up, how long will that last, that solution? Okay, yes. Yeah. So what I tend to do, I buy big kind of canisters of, uh, big plastic sort of canisters, mix mm -hmm. all my paint up without the silicon oil. Okay. And that will last forever I mean okay. it really will if you've got the lid on tight and you haven't got yeah. you know any air getting in it will just last indefinitely so it's not dry out. yeah but mm -hmm. I would suggest if you're going to mix up larger quantities to then reuse in, on different days maybe just add your silicon before you pour not in your main okay. mix fine because I that, sometimes yeah. forget how much you've added and then you yeah. add more and it's you know and that's then it your, might not work yeah, yeah okay there you go Becky <laughs> okay, okay so <clears throat> So we were talking about what do we pour on. So we've got our, our tray to catch the drips. Well, we can pour on virtually anything. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. So mm -hmm. card, um, canvas board or canvas, mm -hmm. lovely box canvas, uh, plastic, wood, metal, ceramic vases oh, people are pouring on. Fantastic. MDF shapes. Oh, brilliant. And the paint store. will stick to it. Yeah, the paint will stick to it absolutely wow. anything and in fact it's so amazing that I um, reuse artwork that I've got in the studio I kind mm -hmm. of think oh, I'm not sure about that anymore you can actually repurpose old artwork oh, so you go over the cover top. the ah. top completely oh that's really good yeah bits of old wood from the garage yeah. you know wheel them in make some coasters I don't know oh, literally lovely. virtually so anything so you can use things you've already got around the house yeah. or you can go and buy some blanks we've got loads of those blanks from Hobbycraft obviously lots of wood um, and the canvas, but it's great that you can reuse it. So you're yeah, not throwing I, stuff yeah, away. I think yeah. it's brilliant. Yeah, Fab. yeah. So should we get should we get let's going with a pour? Let's get started. <laughs> yeah, really should we do? So shall I start off with the what we call the dirty flip cup? And this is yes. the most sort of basic. You might have heard of that. It sounds a bit like an exotic cocktail, doesn't it? The dirty <laughs> flip cup. A uh, very exotic <laughs> cocktail. So I've got a canvas board here. And that's going to fit on my tray perfectly. Plastic cup, um, and again, you can reuse these as well. I'm using a, a, a see transparent one just so we can see. Yeah. And I'm going to start off with layering my colours in my cup. I'm going to start off with white. Now, white and black are really important colours, so called, to have in our mix because they're the denser, heavier colours. Mm -hmm. And if I put my white at the bottom and I flip my cup over with lots of colours, hopefully it'll sink down and the other colours will pop through. So mm. white and black are really, really good to have in the mix. Right, I am literally just gonna go for a little layer of each colour. Do you top. always pour into the middle of the cup? Does that Again, make a difference? It will make a difference, but every time you do it, it's gonna mm -hmm. be, it's a little bit unpredictable. We were talking, it's a bit like controlling mm. the uncontrollable. This. <laughs> it's a bit like my husband. <laughs> Um, so yes, it will, but we never quite know exactly why. So you're going to get a different pour, a different effect if mm -hmm. you pour on top, on top, on top. But we try not to swirl it around yeah. too much. Look at me, I'm just going for everything. It I just amazing. love these colours. And in fact, the mm -hmm. more, sometimes the more crazy the colours are, the more interesting yeah. the piece is. 
Um, and I'm using some what we call Dyna colours from Pebio as well. And these have an iridescent quality to oh, them. Oh, lovely. And it's really lovely to I mix. I can see. Yeah. yeah you I've can see. put that one in, haven't mm. I? Do you know what? I'm just going to add a little. Oh, I've got quite a lot in here. We're going for, we're really going for a fest. It's going to be a big one. It already looks really pretty looks before you've even poured it. Doesn't it. So you could do that straight onto the canvas, but yeah. we're going to flip it up and see what happens. I'm excited. Okay. I'm really excited. So, right. are we magic, watching everyone? The magic begins. Mm. <gasps> oh, look cup. at that down the side. So you can see all that white is now yeah. going to be on top. Well, let's see what happens. There are lots, of, I mean, there are so many different ways to do this. Yeah. We could put a hole in the cup and let the air vacuum release the colour, oh or we goodness. can just lift it and give it a little twirl around. Let's, should we do it? Let's see what yeah. happens. I'm going to give it a little... <gasps> oh, wow. There is a lot of paint in there. That looks I think great. I overdid that paint. I was being very generous with you. But isn't that... That's I mean, just, gorgeous. Just looking at that is absolutely beautiful, isn't it? I'm yeah. going to give it a little tip. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see. So I don't know if you can see it. There's lots of tiny, tiny little pinpricks where the oil is having an effect mm -hmm. with the paint. And each of those little pinpricks is going to burst yeah. and create one of these little beautiful cells. So over the next few minutes, that really will wow. change and, so and develop. Kind of leave that to... I love this this pattern here. Isn't it just it's amazing? So cool. I told you it was very very, very distressing, isn't yeah. it? It's very um, it really really is beautiful and to watch. It almost feels like it's getting brighter and brighter and brighter. This does as the different colours kind of react with each other. Exactly, and what happens because of the pouring medium, the colours aren't muddying. It's mm -hmm. separating. It's keeping so them separate. So that's what stops yeah. it from going brown, which is yeah. what happens when kids play with exactly. paint. Everything goes exactly. brown. Exactly, amazing, wow. isn't it? Wow, I love this. This is fantastic and so easy. And then all your excess is just dropping into the bottom. Yeah. Now, if you're clever, I wasn't that clever actually, because when we get used to how much paint we use, we can literally pour as much to cover ourselves. Oh, Give it wow. a little tip and you'll get less yeah. wastage. I was being very generous there. But what we can do is dip oh, card or perfect. paper in the excess and, and do something with those drips. And in yeah, fact, like these were done with the excess. So popping them in these and look uh, making little prints. And I love the idea of making little yeah, original the cards. greetings lovely. cards. Really lovely. And then you're wasting all this paint exactly i'm gonna put those here it's changing me. again i just oh, love it look wow. at that they're like little gems aren't they just this, amazing it's so cool it looks like rock you know when you cut into some rock like you the get geode the, like the crystal yeah, yeah beautiful mm. so that's the dirty flip cup so easy so easy and the cells are naturally happening do you want to have a go with the... Yes, tell us about this. What's so this, Jenny? Know, what's this here? I brought what's this from this home. What's this all about? absolutely don't need one of these. This is my creme brulee torch. In fact, everything I've got here, I've nicked from the kitchen. <laughs> my creme brulee torch ha now has a different use. Yeah. Now, when I'm demoing, I tend to speed up the cells, the production of those mm -hmm. cells by just putting a flame across it. It's something that you can do. Yeah. You don't really need to have one of these but and it's it quite has good to fun. be a flame it can't be my yeah. hair, hair dryer just yeah, no, 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 definitely no hair dryers <laughs> should we just have a little go and see what we can this get just exciting. as an example so just very gently we're going to take the flame across an area let's have a look i'm going to go in here let's have a look can we see oh yes wow. very gently lots of little the white's cells. coming so up isn't it it just quickens that process up it mm. will happen without it but for the demo here you know it's just quite nice to show that immediacy isn't it it's amazing and we can tip it and we can stretch the cells and so we can cover the board the i quite like it when you've even got some i the like white showing. it so there we go that's our dirty flip cut how easy amazing. is that that's so so easy and it's just these three well four things with the water yeah, as well yeah mixed so up. so easy fantastic and we can, you know, I've got to show you these. Oh, yeah. We can even do, we, we were, honestly, I promise you, we weren't having a little, gin. a little drink before. <laughs> when got you, that bottle when of gin you these in, I thought, what's going on here? Why have we got shot glasses? But there is a reason why we've got these little So, little mini flip cups. Oh, perfect. And our shot glasses fit these shapes perfectly. Yeah. So, next time so you go nice. out, just collect the shot glasses and then you can do some dirty Gorgeous. pouring. But make sure you do a drink before you do the pouring <laughs> and you don't Cheers. drink the, the Pebio.
Okay, let's put that to one side and we'll get on with another one. Wow. Oh, see, even in here, this looks fantastic. This is so cool. I'm just going to see if anyone's got any questions while Jenny's just setting up for the next one. Um, what have we got here? Um, half water, half acrylic, and oh, this one's done. Strips of silicon. Oh no, that that is the silicon. So that's oil. The silicon oil. Yeah. So that's exactly what you need. I think she's just asking what you need. So yes, you definitely only need a couple. Silicon to do yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. Properly. Yeah, don't go. Fab. Don't go overboard. No, don't go nuts. Um, fab. Yeah, I think it's just a bit of a debate about the quantities going on, which we can talk about over and over again. And we've also got um, some video content that you can watch, which talks about quantities. But it is a bit of trial and error. Yeah, a little like. bit. That's a very sort of general sort of the order, one, one, one. Yeah. And the only thing is just slightly less water if your paint's mm -hmm. not as thick. The, the Pebio paints are beautifully buttery. So, um, yeah. you know, they, they they often have a little bit more um, fluidity to them anyway. Okay. So, just, so that's you might need, not need as much. Water. Yeah. Fab. Oh, um, could you use PVA glue as a medium? Now, I've heard about this. Hmm. I'm not entirely convinced about really? that. Yeah, I think if you're using PV, you need no. I, I'd say no. no unless there's some quite complicated mix with it as well. Yeah. Because actually, it's not just glue. It's a binder. It's it's Fine. all sorts of different things inside that pouring medium that so give this it is what you the need. properties. That you, Fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, Lucy. <laughs> We've got loads of people saying hello um, and missed the recipe, but we've just talked about it again. So um, we've got the medium, the acrylic paint, the water, and then the silicon oil. Um, it is a bit of trial and error, but Jenny's going to be talking through it again. So I can see some exciting stuff mm, going on I here. Can't help I can't help while you're over chatting it. as well. It's amazing. What, have you, what are you doing here then? Well, this, another thing from home is my sink strainer. <laughs> um, <laughs> placed in the middle wow. now, while we've been sort of chatting I've just been filling little about a tablespoon or less of each colour in kind of stripes going through just on top of each other and it's gradually mm. falling through and creating something rather beautiful incredible and it's um just choosing colours that I love yeah and then the more colour you add in the more it pushes the paint through the the gaps Mm. It's quite nice to have a bit of contrast with this one. So this mm -hmm. is our sink strainer pour. So yeah, look for contrast. I'm going to add some white in there. I think that's probably enough. We'll give it 30 seconds or so just yeah. to fully come through. But again, it. it's like just amazing, isn't it? What's it's happening? Fantastic. Beautiful colour. I love it. It is gorgeous and the colours are so vibrant. And I think it makes a difference having this slightly metallic -y. Yeah, absolutely. So try gold, silver and gold in yeah. the mix as well. Even, I think there's some fluorescent colours as well. We do have fluorescent. Oh, We've got all sorts. Oh, amazing. half price. Half price. I love this. Run down Toby Craft now and get your, get your acrylic paint so you can start. Um, what else have we got? Here we go. Um, we've got so many people watching. Lots of people just saying hello. Um... Kerry said she's really looking forward to the demo um, and she always visits you at the NEC to hey, watch you live. hello. Oh, that's <laughs> We've got so some fans, nice Jenny, you. watching. Hello. Which is very exciting. <laughs> We've got Claire Ford wants to say hello. Hello. Um, Dawn. Um, who else have we got? Um, Nabila. Um, everybody's just mesmerised. Oh, no, it is. By and have a look at this. Great. I'm wondering if we've got a little close up on it. I'm going to lift mm. the strainer above now, and there's a little secret to this. So we're almost there. So I'm going to lift it very carefully, and I'm just going to do a kind of quarter turn mm -hmm. as I lift. Okay. And we'll see what happens. So lift a little turn, hand underneath to catch <gasps> the drips. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, wow. It's not <gasps> just amazing. We've got an audience in here. We've got Casey <laughs> with us, and you can hit you might hear the wow. Video. Going, <gasps> it's wow. another one. I mean, it is so beautiful. It isn't really, it? really is. And that sink strainer, you can just get that. Just well, get it online. Get it yeah. online. We yeah. don't sell sink strainers, unfortunately, but everything else you But you need. could try all sorts of things. You know, yeah. you really have a little rummage in your kitchen yeah. jars. I've seen people using colanders and all sorts oh, wow. of things. That, you could do I a mean, giant one with yeah. it. You could have several yeah. on the go. 
Oh my goodness. It's fantastic. Oh, it looks And again, so because pretty. of the pearlescent colours mixed. Mm -hmm. I mean, again, that was only, what was that, three or four colours? Yeah. Really gorgeous, isn't it? Mm. Sometimes I say, should we tip this? Should we leave it? I don't know. Oh, I it's like just the circle. Kind yeah. of lovely like that, isn't yeah, it? We'll leave it. Yeah, it'll go a bit mm. wibbly. Mm. Oh, but it's kind of, it's still growing. It's still moving. It looks so good. It is so amazing good. what you can do with a sink strainer, isn't it? <laughs> I'm never ever going to use that for my potato peelings yeah. again. No. Wow. Beautiful. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Let's do another right. one. Look. Come on, what else can we, we do? Oh, so I love that one. That's. I love that one. That's you, my you favorite can have one that so one. <gasps> you can have that one. Oh. Okay. So I'm going to take another. I'm just simply doing it on the board just for the demo. But what again, else can you, you know, do it you on? You can do it on absolutely. Oh yeah. Anything. We talked about the different the wood textures and ceramics. We've got so many different ceramic blanks in stores. Coasters, yeah, that'd yeah. be really nice. Oh, coasters would be fantastic. Yeah, make really everyone lovely. at work jealous with your, your <laughs> fluid poured po okay. coaster. Oh, I know what we're going to do now. I'm going to take this time. I'm going to do. I'm just going to take the blues. I'm going to pour straight out of the cup. She's going this time. rogue. <laughs> okay, so we, we're going to do a little wiggle. Are you sure there wasn't anything in those shot glasses? <laughs> it's okay, just air, everyone. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> a little wiggle with my blues. So I'm going in for. I'm thinking. C. Oh yeah, because yeah, we're down water. by we're in Bournemouth, down by the yeah. the beach. And it's actually oh, it's a beautiful day driving here this morning. Yeah. Okay. All oh, this lovely cyan blue. I mean, look at the mm. pigment quality in that paint. It's Again, stunning. Pebio do amazing. These acrylics are just so gorgeous. Yeah. The pigments are incredibly strong. So, and what hap what's amazing is that when you mix with your pouring medium, you don't yeah. reduce the quality That's what's so or interesting. the intensity of the colour. Mm. Okay, a little bit of yellow. The sand. A little bit of yellow. <laughs> a little bit there. Ooh. That might be quite interesting when it mixes with those blues. Now, I've left a gap along this side mm -hmm. here because what I'm going to do is pour some of my white on like that. On the end. Look at me. I, I've got gloves. I didn't put them on. Oh, oh well. no. <laughs> now, what I've got here is a bit of old plastic acetate okay. from a studio you could use a credit an old credit card yeah anything like that hobby craft fine. discount card but yeah. clean it up <laughs> <laughs> and what i'm going to do i'm going to do a swipe technique yeah okay so what i'm going to do is the end of my plastic in the white now what i want to do is pull the white over the top of the okay. other colors and you know when we were talking at the beginning, we were saying about the white being a heavier, denser. Yes. This is quite a good example of this. It's going to sit on top and hopefully the other colours will pop through. Oh, wow. So I don't want to pull all the paint off into the tray. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to press too hard. It's just simply doing a little wiggle. I'm going to do a little wiggle as well because I'm thinking mm. waves. Waves like that. And that bit there. There we go. Oh, oh yeah. You can see it coming through already. So again, three or four minutes... Mm -hmm. And all the cells will start popping up through the white. So we could just go, we could go and have another drink, couldn't we? we? Could. No, we haven't got time for that. <laughs> and in fact, I'm going to speed this up. Oh, with your. Just with it, just for torch. speed, okay? Just so we can see. So let's give it oh, a little wow. go over. Just catching the little bubbles. And that will continue to take effect. I'm going to add something else to that. Mm. Ooh, what's she, what's she got out here? Of no, it's like a magic trick, isn't it? Out of nowhere. I, I, I should have got it from behind your ears, shouldn't yeah, I? Yeah, that would have worked. Okay, so I'm going to go in again with that lovely blue, that cyan blue, mm -hmm. which is so intense. And in fact, even while we're talking, things are it's happening there up. already. It's definitely yeah. coming. I love it when you can do art and it kind of does itself, yeah. does its own thing. Right, the string goes in the blue. There we go. Let's pop it in there with my stick. I'm just going to coat it, not too much, so I'm going to use my stick just to kind of, when I pull it out, not have it drip everywhere. Mm. Okay, ooh, so it's a bit yeah. of a long piece of that string. It's a very long piece of string. I think you're going to get messy here, Jenny. Okay, what I'm going to do now, I want to kind of do a wave effect, so I'm going to do a little semicircle going through, just laying it on top. Now what's interesting about fluid art, acrylic pouring, is it's all about kind of disrupting the surface. Mm -hmm. Every time you can do something different to the surface and a new effect will happen. So let's see what happens when I pull this string through. <gasps> so wow. it's 
almost like a splash, a wave. It I love really that. does it's look like a wave. Really, really lovely. With it's those like she knows what well. she's doing here. Mm. This is fantastic. Might have done that one before. <laughs> but actually, it's so easy, it, honestly. Yeah. Any, anyone can do oh, it. looks amazing. Things are happening again. It's definitely. We happening. could even do another little look. Let's just mm. put it in it just to show you Ooh, another little one. Ooh, <gasps> another wow. little one. I couldn't help myself there. Look at me. <laughs> that looks <laughs> incredible. I've got some more questions for you, Jenny. How long does it take to dry? That's a good question, actually. Mm. So, recommend 48 hours. Wow. Keep it flat um, and out of kind of, well, dust maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Flies. Yeah. Don't dogs, know. dogs, no cats. Dog hair yes, of in course. It. Yeah. So it does take a long time, I guess, because yeah, of the volume it's of paint. Quite thick. And it, yeah. yeah, if you do, these take longer to dry, to dry when you put the mediums in, I guess. They oh definitely take longer with the medium. Yeah. yeah. But in fact, I did one yesterday. In fact, it's over there. I had it outside in the in the sun to dry just to see how you know if I could. Uh, oh, thank you. Glamorous Tom. assistant Tom. Tom. There. <laughs> um, this one I I did yesterday. Wow. And it did dry within the day wow. and it was it yeah. was in the sun but what happens is you get a slight separation where the heat has dried oh, it a little bit too okay. quickly yeah so you that's can why it's see. um but that's kind i kind of nice. quite like it yeah, yeah. i like you can that see the, there's gold yeah. in that oh that looks beautiful gold in them they're acrylic pores so it does oh kerry says that's beautiful <laughs> um so but i love that one things are still happening with it it's beautiful. really really cool um we've got charlie's asking Charlie, hello Charlie, Charlie from Derby, I recognise her, Darby. she's a colleague, <laughs> um, so she's saying, um, do you varnish it afterwards, um, or add resin, or do you just leave it as it is, can you okay, put something yeah, on top? Okay, that's, that's a good point, so two things that we could do, we could just leave it as it is, mm -hmm. and what happens, we can see it's really beautifully glossy and shiny while the paint's wet, it does yeah. go a little bit matte, mm -hmm. depending on the paints that you use, because most of our acrylics are matte, apart yeah. from our pearlescence and iridescence mm -hmm. and the golds and silver, yeah. but what I like to do is give it a little coat of the pouring medium itself, and oh. I found it completely foolproof, it just completely gives the shine back. Oh, fantastic. We can also use the Pebio glazing resin as well. Okay. Yeah, that's that's quite nice, oh, which brilliant. gives it a lovely kind of almost glass-like finish on top. That would be lovely mm. because they are, it is so glossy yeah. and that's yeah. part of the attraction, isn't it? It looks fantastic. Okay, Charlie. Fantastic. Oh, Charlie's saying hello. Hello. <laughs> that's right, brilliant. that's going over there. I'm that looks trying. fab. Area. If you've got any more questions for Jenny, just pop them in the comments below. Have we got time for another one? Yes, we've got loads we? of time, yeah. We've got time. Okay. Yeah. Let's, let's just show another idea. Mm -hmm. This time, instead of, I've been using a dry canvas every time, haven't I? So this time, I'm going to take some of my white, and um, I've got a palette knife here, but you could use anything, so you could use a knife, another, you know, a bit of plastic. I'm just going to coat the surface of my canvas with the white, so make it nice and wet, there we go, and um, look at me, covered in paint, <laughs> that every, every night is bath night with me when I uh, do acrylic pouring, in fact I was in the bath last night and I was thinking, what else could I oh, use? Oh, that was ingenious. What else could I, did you see the link there? <laughs> I didn't see that coming. <laughs> and I, I know what you were going to be doing, and I what just did not see I that use? coming. How are you? The string do it was that? good. That was but good. I tell you what. Wow. This is even better. <laughs> right, let's go in with the black now. So, in fact, I've got another one here, and um, I'm going to pop it a bit like I did with that blue. I'm going to pop it in the black, like that, using my stick again mm -hmm. to just sort of push it to the cup when I pull it out and make sure it's not absolutely dripping all over the place. Because what we want to do is make use of that lovely bobbly texture yeah. on the chain. There we go. Mm. Now, can I do this? Sometimes yeah. these things have a bit of a life of their own. Wow. I don't know what happens. So what I'm going to do is just very carefully just do a little wiggle <gasps> with my chain. Oh, wow. Like this. There we go, and simply pull it towards us. <gasps> and we've almost got 
Can you hear Casey in the background? <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, a little how cool. Lily effect. We could keep going. Let's do another one here. A little wiggle. So a little sort of S shape going round. Yeah. I mean, this is beautiful oh, yeah. in all sorts of colours. We could keep <gasps> layering up like that. I'm going to do wow. another one. I'll do another one over the top. It is so much fun. So experimental. And you don't need to keep adding more and more paint on. Because no, look, you're got... picking up. And in fact, the more, the less paint mm. on there yeah. is creating a little bit more of an effect. Let's go over the top. Mm. It's like layering up. Incredible. Really, really lovely. So yeah, you could do different colourways, couldn't you? Mm -hmm. Can you imagine pinks and yellows? I mean, really kind of go for it. So, um, gosh, amazing. Beautiful. That and looks very, fun. very easy to do. And where it's kind of, it's fallen in a bit underneath, oh, yes, it it's has. just pulled in a little bit of colour, which is really, really, really lovely. I always feel like I want to do that. Yeah. That's a good idea. See, every time you do it, it's like, <laughs> Should we just do that again? I'm going to drip it in again. <laughs> drip it in. Oh, Debbie is asking, could you use um, your tiles for your kitchen or bathroom and decorate with those? Yes. Yeah. That'd be tiles. a really nice Brilliant. idea. Brilliant. That's fab. Um, could you add glitter, biodegradable oh, glitter? Yeah. You could. Yeah. Definitely. Gold flakes, silver flakes, oh, glitter. Lovely. Pop them in while it's wet. Look, at this is you. This is oh. your idea. <gasps> Using up the spilt paint. Hmm. <gasps> Fantastic. That's amazing. And you can actually, so we've, I've told you about our um, videos that Jenny's kindly made for us, which are over on our Get Started in Fluid Pouring page, which you can check out now. Um, but we've also got some workshops in store. So we've got demonstrations where you can pop into your local store and it's between 11 and 1, 11 and 1 um, tomorrow, um, and go and watch some fluid art happening. So our colleagues have been trained up and they're there to help you and answer any Fantastic. questions. Yeah. So if you've got any questions now, Jenny's still here. Um, and we've also got a really exciting competition which our friends at Pebio have given us a huge prize worth over a hundred pounds. Wow. With loads and loads of bits and pieces that you can um, use to create your own artwork. So it's actually pinned at the top of our Facebook page. So if you pop over to the Facebook page after the live, you can see it there, and it's really easy to enter, um, and you could win that amazing prize. And we also have, there's even more, drum roll, drum roll, our Artist of the Year competition, which is so exciting. So we have three different categories for this. Um, we've got our adults, our student, and our youngsters. So if you've got some artwork you'd like to share with us for a chance to win a fantastic prize and some hobby craft vouchers as well, um, pop over to our Facebook page and you'll see it there. We'll also share a link Brilliant. in this um, feed as well. And you can share your artwork with us and you could do some good. They already have There's lots of people have mm -hmm. entered some fantastic things. Um, so I want to say thank you to Jenny. Jenny, what else are you doing? What are you up to at oh, the moment? Oh, golly. I'm very, very, very so busy, busy. busy with Pebio. So doing yeah. lots of live shows, working with you guys at Hobbycraft season of artist and oh, you on Amazon amazing. Prime is, is nearly in the can That's so we've exciting. got a couple of things to do so hopefully that will be out by the beginning of next Fab. year so oh, fantastic. Yeah, busy at the studio yeah mm. painting um, the bollards, oh, in, painting Winchester. The bollards in Winchester mm. oh, you've got to have a look at that on you my go, Instagram yeah go yeah, over have to Jenny's Instagram and, and check it out because it's very exciting lots of creative stuff happening um, is there anything I've forgotten to talk about? I don't think so. Just don't forget to pop down to Hobbycraft or go online and we've got a fantastic art sale going on. Half price off of these fantastic Pebio acrylics so you can get started in fluid pouring today. This afternoon. Right now. <laughs> when now. you've had a little tip Yeah, ball. don't forget to get your <laughs> shot glasses. That's how we should end. Right, let's yes. sign off. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks everyone. <laughs> Bye.